nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, guys and gals Here we go, guys We gotta leave this master steak We have had our 10-hour break Now it's time to go over to the uh, construction ahead terminal and uh, go pick up our uh, empty trailer and then go make our way over to our reload. That's right. We do have a reload out of here. That's uh, on the east side of Toronto. And that's going to be taking us to Illinois, which is on the east, uh, no, west side of Illinois. So, uh, yeah, so let's go pick up our empty trailer. It's got to be a trailer that's 10 years or newer, apparently. Otherwise, they won't load us. So, we got to make sure we pick up a good trailer. That's right. One kilometer. Turn left on Courtney Park Drive East. All right, all right. So let's go do that, and then uh, we'll see what we'll be able to show you all today. Hopefully, we can make a good video today. Here we go, guys. This is it. We are on Highway 401. Left on Highway 401. That's right. We gotta go a fair distance up here east. And then uh, we got to uh, pick up our delivery. We got 37 kilometers to go yet. GPS shows we should be there about 20 after 10, but in four kilometers, keep to the yeah. left on Highway 401 East. Now that's 401 Eastern East. time, but that's not Central time. So let's go over there and see if we can get our load on. Here we go guys, we are still on 401 and this is the part that you guys don't get to see very often. Look at all these high rise buildings that they got up here. Yeah, this is if we go towards Quebec. Yep, that's right. This is if we continue on eastbound. Eastbound and down. That's right. Toward Ottawa. Yeah, we can also go towards to Ottawa if we continue Leslie going Street, here. Victoria BK Avenue, Golden Avenue. I don't know where the GPS wants me to go, but it's always got ideas. And sometimes I don't like the ideas. <laughs> yeah, that's just the way it goes. But yeah, we do have a few high-rise buildings along the Highway 401 here. That's right, as you can see, it's a fairly big highway. We got, uh, this is the express lane, and then we got the collector on the side there, and then the same thing on that side there. It's express and then the collector. So we got four lanes here and four lanes there. So we pretty much have eight lanes going each direction. Now that's what I call a big highway. <laughs> In 600 meters, to the yeah. right on Leslie Street. Victoria PK. It can also be really bad for traffic when it's rush hour through here. Right now it's not bad, you know. We're still cruising pretty good speeds along here, so had a little bit of a slowdown there earlier, but other than that, we're just cruising right along. I uh, the GPS wanted me to go to the collector. I don't want to do that. I don't know, sometimes the GPS wants you to go to the collector and then come back to the express and then express back to collector. I don't know why, but yeah, that's the way it goes. Your GPS is you know. To the left on Water Route Harris, Highway 401 Collector. See? There you go. It's telling me to go on collectors again. Oh well. 
I'm just going to continue on express lane for now. Alrighty guys, we have picked up our preloaded trailer. Yeah, now we're going to go back to the terminal and then we'll uh, get our paperwork done by the dispatcher there at the yard in Mississauga. And I'll also go scale the load because I have a feeling this is a heavy load. Some big rolls of paper that I got on there. They're going to be top heavy too. That's right. They are going to be top heavy, that's for sure. It says 44,000 pounds on the uh, paperwork, so I am definitely going to make sure I get this load scaled. Probably going to pull in there by the flying meters. day. Turn left on Big Linton Avenue East. Scale the load, make sure we're legal. And then we'll uh, we'll see if we can continue on. We gotta make a left-hand turn up here. Hopefully we can do that before the uh, light changes. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to do it. I think so. Yeah, there we go. to the terminal we got 44 kilometers to go and I'll go scale the load and uh, continue on this road for seven kilometers we'll bring the paperwork to the dispatcher and then they can do the paperwork and then we can start making our way down to uh, Wards, Illinois that's right we are finally getting out of Toronto uh, trying anyways I don't know how successful we're going to be at it, but hey, we're giving it our best shot. Trying to get out of here. Yeah, we went down to our place, picked up the load, and went back to the Flying J pilot there in uh, Mississauga. Scaled the load, made sure we was legal. And then... Uh, I guess this guy ain't gonna let me get in there, is he? No, he ain't gonna let me get in. Alright, well then, whatever. Will be it. But anyways, we scaled our load, made sure that we're legal. And we are. And then I went over to dispatch office and had them in my paperwork so they could do the paperwork. And Order has all been set up. We're all good to go. Now we just got to get to the border, right? That's right. Anyways, we're going to put the hammer down towards the border. Try and get as far as we can today. Got 844 kilometers to go to make our delivery. We gotta be there before one o'clock tomorrow afternoon to deliver this, so we'll try and do our best. Alrighty guys, here we are back at the Windsor, Ontario Bridge. That's right, we're going into Michigan here very soon. That's right, we're going over the bridge right about now. We'll be entering Michigan here very, very soon. I don't know if you can see the lake up there, but Looks gorgeous looking over Michigan. I always like that one building that they get way up there in the city. It's got some cool light effects on it. Looks beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. That's right. Well, we will be in Michigan here very soon. Hopefully the border won't be uh, too lined up today. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt going across this border. Sometimes it takes me 45 minutes just sitting in the lineup over here to get to the booth, you know. Man, hopefully that's not the case today. Crossing border, a drink, Michigan. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll, we'll cut the video for now and then uh, 
we'll be back somewhere on the other side we have just finished our post trip I guess you could say I am here at a rest area yeah let's take a look well we got plenty of room here yet so far it's not too bad but uh, we are done for today we are getting ready to pretty much end the show and uh, go to bed I guess pretty soon I'll just probably edit yesterday's video together and then I'll probably go to bed yeah that's I think what I'm gonna be doing I am hearing a lot of shatter on these YouTube channels today about uh, one or two particular youtubers are having to shut down their uh, pretty much their YouTube I mean not completely maybe but at least uh, all the trucking videos have to be deleted and uh, I don't know one of them there I think is uh, JBG travels that one I uh, just recently actually uh, discovered and subscribed to and we had some nice videos there and now he's being forced by his company to shut down so that's not really good well what they're forcing him to do is not record any video around the truck or traveling videos or anything like that so he's allowed to keep the hot videos that are being filmed at home but he's not allowed to even keep the videos on YouTube so that really sucks really does I don't know if I'd be able to uh, take down my videos I really would hate to have to take my videos down in order to keep my job but uh, sometimes that's the way it is and uh, these big companies they think they can just force you to do whatever you want but supposedly it's a free country but sometimes these companies think they can just tell you what you can do and what you can't do without uh, any uh, I guess uh, whatever you know but Anyways, I'm not going to go into that too much, but we're done. We got about 140 miles to go to our delivery tomorrow. I was going to go further down the road, but I'm just tired. I want to go to bed, so with that being said, have a good one, everybody, and keep those YouTubers in mind. Remember, you never know what can happen. Sometimes they might even try to shut me down, so we'll see. Keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best and we'll see you again tomorrow. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.